Weights and Downer. You or someone you know has lost the ability to earn a living because someone put the company interest before their well-being. In times like these, there's one firm who has handled hundreds of catastrophic and lost earning cases. Before you settle fast with a company's attorney, give Weights and Downer a call. 985-876-0870. Weights and Downer. Let us fight for your rights. Hello again, everyone. I'm Martin Falls, and welcome to Buy You Time on another sad passing here in Terrebonne Parish. And today I want to honor the life of Mr. Will Terrio. And of course, I had Mr. Will pictured here, Wildro Terrio. I had him on my one on one program. He was a larger than life figure, and he did so much for the community. I remember him as a young child when I played in the Mulberry League baseball teams and his son, Leslie, and other members of his family, such an integral part of Mulberry subdivision. Mr. Wildrow, Will Joseph Terrio, 89, passed away surrounded by his family on Friday, September 27th at 9.55 a.m. Will was a native of Cutoff, Louisiana, and longtime resident of Homa. He also was part of Charlotte, North Carolina, and Berg, Louisiana. Family and friends of the family are invited to attend visitation at Chauvin Funeral Home on Tuesday, October 1st, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., and Wednesday, October 2nd, from 9.30 a.m. until service time. A liturgy of the Word will follow visitation on Wednesday, October 2nd at Chauvin Funeral Home at 11 a.m. with burial in St. Francis de Sales Cemetery No. 2. Will is survived by his loving family, his children Maureen T. Bajeron and husband Rick, Leslie J. Terrio and wife Sherry, James E. Terrio and wife Cindy, and daughter-in-law Marlene M. Terrio, brother Clyde Tookie Terrio and wife Anne, grandchildren Brian Terrio, Jared Araby, Jamie Terrio, Hannah Terrio, Allison Terrio, Melanie Guillory Almendarez, and Kylie Zavadil. Numerous loving great-grandchildren, loving brothers and sisters-in-law, especially Sammy and Patty Pellegrin, and Mitch and Tammy Pellegrin, and adopted family members Chad and Angel Domain, Trey and Dawn Lede, and Terry and Jenny Berg. Of course, Mr. Will is preceded in passing by his loving wife of 60 years, Beverly Ann Pellegrin Terrio, his son David P. Terrio, and parents Joseph and Alice Godet Terrio. Mr. Will, as I told you before, was a larger-than-life individual, worked as a salesman in many industries over his lifetime. When not working, he enjoyed golfing and fishing with family and friends. He was proud of his hole-in-one and his first-place tarpon rodeo trophy. He also loved to listen to music and had a large and extensive collection of jazz and big band music. He loved to entertain everyone with his amusing stories. Will was an aficionado of everything, cars, and planes. He had a keen sense of humor and a witty and sharp intellect. And even though he never served in the military, Will was passionate about our military history and veterans. He was a founding member of the Regional Military Museum in Homa, where he served as president. The museum was his pride and joy. He greeted all with a warm and welcoming smile. He loved to give tours to visitors from all over the world, especially those allowing him to give tours in French. And as I told you before, I did a one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Will. And I first asked him, how did you get involved with the museum? Mr. Cliff Shakespeare, who I was friends with, right. invited me to a round table discussion from the military museum. And he said, you need to come. And at that one meeting, Mr. C.J. Chris, the founder of the museum, mm -hmm. 
said, we need volunteers. If you can volunteer, even if it's just for an hour. So I went home and talked to my wife, and I said, I think I'm a volunteer one day a week. And so we picked Thursday, and on Thursday I got to the museum, and Sarge Henry was the guest, and he really immersed me into the history of the museum. And I found out at the time that I was 70 years old and I was the baby of the family. I was the youngest volunteer there. They had a computer that nobody could use. Mm -hmm. It was antiquated. So I brought one of my computers. I was the only one that could operate it. And that one day a week turned into every day. And Mr. Chris and I got to be very close and we mm -hmm. worked together. To and now you're the president. Now I'm the president. There you so. go. Brings back a lot of memories, but also on the program, as I like to do, with some of the more seasoned interviews, I always ask them, when it's all said and done, what's the one word that you would hope everyone around you would use to describe you? Everybody you work with and everybody I could get together, and I was able to get your family and I was able to get your daughter who's in the studio and yeah. able to get your wife and able to get Mr. Waits, yeah. Mr. Brady. And I said, give me one word to describe Mr. Will. One word. What would you hope the one word would be? That he's a nice guy. <laughs> okay. So nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. Perfect word for Mr. Will Terrio. And I can certainly remember all those times as a young boy in Mulberry subdivision and throughout the years running into Mr. Will at various businesses, or various events, he was indeed nice. He always took time to speak to people. He always took time to speak to me. He always was educated on the subject matter that he was talking about, and he was also very colorful. He did have a passion for veterans here in the area, and that is certainly the way a lot of people will remember Mr. Will. May he rest in peace. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights.